What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to All Purpose Build. Today we are working on Cousin Gary's bucket. <laughs> um, so over the last few days, we're going to call it, it's really been weeks and months, but uh, we've been working on preparing the bay um, to prep and paint it. So far, so right now it's at the stage where we just got to wipe it down and we're ready to spray. I'm pretty excited because, I mean, we obviously had to replace the radiator support in a previous video. So, you know, now that we have this all primed in black, which, you know, you know, look at the rest of the car. This looks pretty good to me. So, you know, not much complaining for me, but I'm pretty excited to lay a fresh, you know, just fresh paint job on this because once we put the new engine in, she's going to be pretty buttoned up from about here and forward. The rest of the car still needs work after that. All right, so without further ado, uh, we already have the gun ready. We mix the paint and uh, let's get to spraying. Finished up on the first coat of base. Uh, we all, uh, uh, we all kind of the, the, spi the Spider-Man yeah. meme here. You know, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not only pinning it on one guy. If we all mess up, we all messed up. Uh, but so far, it's coming out great. Uh, it took some trial and error. How do you feel about painting for your first time? I'm not confident, so I don't like to hold the gun very often. I like to let the other people do it, just so I can blame them after. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, I have expectations um, that it's gonna come out decent. I ain't expecting. I mean, too we're much. better than decent. Yeah. You good? You guys are good. Let me. I'm not gonna downplay you guys. It's just my car. I don't. Picasso over here is offended. Yeah, Kr no drip right here. So just saying, guys. Um, um, no, I think I, so. Let's take a look at the base coat. It's actually coming out good. We have no defects right now. Um, there's some areas that we're realizing we have to pay a little more attention to. But let's go inside, take a look before we uh, hit it with the second coat. It's flashing actually pretty flat, which is what you want to see. Uh, we still have this area, which was the last area we hit on the driver's side strut tire that's still wet, so we just got yeah, it. Yeah, that's rats really, really good. good. Um, yeah, so it's actually pretty nice because the paint, you can see it. That's not like this here, is, those are actually like um, metallics in the paint. They're not all like, uh, it's not trash. It's hard to tell, but all that sparkly stuff is metallics, not. Show them, uh, show them like a little more from like this thing. Uh -huh. You can see it has a lot of like bluish in it. Blue flakes in it. Um, coming so, out great, but I, I am think, seeing a reaction here though. Oh uh, yeah, that's where we did body work, so it's going to be a little bit, but race car. So a big APB sticker right there. No, it's, it looks fine. So what we're going to yeah. do, as you can tell, like this is uh, drying pretty nice and flat, which that's, that's, a, that's a reaction there too. But I think, what can you think? What can you say since painting the the white Civic for our dad for like um, four Years or five ago. years ago? How do you think how do you think our paint's coming out now um so it's significantly better so we know we kind of have the baseline of what to do and what not to do mind you we are garage do-it-yourself guys we're not doing this for a profession so whenever we get to do it we usually get especially going back to some of our cars like that black gsr and uh the blue integra that we did we've been getting very good results but it's again we've switched a lot of things since there so it's all Every time we grab the paint gun and we switch something, it's learning how to maneuver around those things. But I think that we've, we've grown tremendously. Yeah, I think that before we never, one thing we never did was uh, we never uh, flash coated. We just kind of like waited four or five minutes and then just started painting again. But we're also using a lot better materials or much better materials, yeah, yeah. That's which, better which helped. Better. And then we're actually learning so we know the materials to get. Yeah. Before we were just like, oh yeah, we need to paint a car, so we need we need reducer, we need paint, and let's we go need to Napa. Clear. Yeah, let's go to Napa. 
not knocking Napa, but like when you go for a real paint store that we've been going to lately, I think that the results just prove itself. It's a bit more expensive, but I'd take, I'd spend a little bit more money to get better results all day, every day. A hundred percent. Like you can see how that's nice and flat. That's exactly what you want to see out of a base coat. So like technically certain areas, I mean, we're, we're going to go back and touch everything up, but certain areas where how we're laying the paint down is a thousand times better than our first initial paint yeah, job. We have a better gun. We have, a, well, the compressor is the same, but then we also have better technique, better yeah. materials, and a better mindset, more knowledge. Yeah. On top and of I, and I, I think that painting is one of those things that you, it's an acquired skill. I don't think it's like any, somebody's first time gonna grab the uh, spray gun and say, I'm the master painter. Um, but I think the more you do it, the better you become, so. Yeah, so how are you feeling, Cousin Gary, you excited? I'm excited, I'm super excited. I know it's gonna look good. Um, you see him now? Look, remember this face. Once that clears on, it's gonna be a completely different face. <laughs> I'm gonna be here like this, guys. It could go. It could, it could go either way. But no, no, no. The clear really wraps it all together, and that's when you get like the shine and like it looks like a brand new paint job, like glass finish. And I think that's when you really get excited when you know what it's gonna really look like yeah. once it's done. And then he's gonna start seeing the vision of everything he's done with the motor, which we'll go into at a later date. But he's gonna once once we lay clear, he's gonna start visualizing what the car's gonna be. It came out. No, it, it, it came out great. Yeah, um, there's like no defects in the paint at all. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I think we put enough clear. Whereas, look at that's the mirror all along. Wow. wow. So you can't even tell the color. Like it looks super blue right here. Like super blue. And it's not a reflection of that blue. It's literally just the paint. Like we see. Look at that. All those metallics in there. You know, I thought it was hard to paint metallic because silver is such a terrible color well, of paint. silver in general is a terrible color of paint, but um, this thing came out, this came out um, great. I say this is our best paint yet. Yeah, it's up there. It's, that RS is pretty good. No, yeah, yeah, it's, but, um, that, but that didn't have any metallic. No. But I gotta say, like, the metallic wasn't really a problem. Yeah. I think with the silver, I think you just get tiger stripes. Yeah, but like you gotta this, be careful. I mean, I just painted uh, um, parts for a car and I was able to avoid the tiger stripes but it, it is it is a little harder to paint that that's but a complete mirror right there yeah. this is absolutely a little great. bit of orange peel there but if this is a race car so if it wasn't a race car you could probably like wet sand and buff the yeah. faces of these things to get a better finish because this one does have a bit of orange peel as well but i mean the tops i think we killed it on the tops and everything else for mass support looks Phenomenal. Yeah, and we, we got to take into consideration the before. Things that people are not going to see, I mean, don't mind those welds, but the things that people are not going to see, look at that. It's like a freaking mirror down here. Nuts. Literally looks like a mirror. Super excited. Yeah, it, it was It was definitely, we, we killed it, um, to say the least. And uh, we were two and a half hours in. Probably, yeah. Yeah, we were like just about two and a half hours in, so. Less than that. Given the, yeah. given the time. 
frame that we did this in, we are getting progressively better and it's, I'm happy to see this because we gotta do the same thing to my side. So um, yeah. we'll tackle that later on down the road, but this is, uh, this is great. All right, so with that being said, we do, we are just gonna let this care for the next couple of days. Um, and then there's gonna be another part to this video where we take, uh, put this all back together. And cousin Gary has been cooking in the kitchen, so. The craziest B20 VTech, fellas. You guys wouldn't even believe it. Everything brand new out the box. I mean, I'm, I'm going hard. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm really trying to put this race car together. So I'm super excited to find, to finally see at least this final product. And then the, from there, it's, you know, completing the rest of the body of the car. All right, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. You guys can see us once again, uh, laying down that paint work. Um, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll get, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace. See you guys.